After the Second World War, Australia escalated its child migration program from Europe. Ron Metcalf was one of the Australian immigration officials who worked closely with the organisations selected to care for the children. Well, I was called a migration officer child, but you know, after a while it became obvious. See, what had happened, Mr Corwell had felt, like many others, that during those war years, the bombings in London would mean that we've got to get rid of these children. They're all going to be bombed to death here. Let's get them out to Canada and to Australia. Then there was submarine trouble in, in, in the Atlantic. It was obvious you couldn't put all the kids on these ships going over there. They'd be all sinking. So they had to stay in England. So that scheme which he had in mind initially, that faded completely. But then he knew that, all, that prior to the war, and even then showing some signs of existence were all these people like Fairbridge and Bernardo's and all sorts, all sorts of organisations that had taken small, very small numbers before the war. Uh, were, 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 here was one avenue at least, you know, that might work. He'd also thought very much about Norway because Norway had been t taken over by the Germans. They reckoned there was going to be a lot of illegitimate children in, in Norway. They also thought that everyone was every all the bombings that had taken place that they'd be all doubly orphaned and they weren't doubly orphaned. They usually had one still alive or they had a close relative. They also had some governments that were felt that it was unwise, even though they, some of these people were unsuitable, weren't going to be accepted by their own friends, and so they felt that they had a responsibility to look after them too. So that the the numbers that were thought available in every scene were much smaller than they ever anticipated. And as I say, in 10 years, in 10 years from these, 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 these countries and churches, there were only 2,536, I think, children, 7 to 13 years of age, came to Australia. Now that was one of the reasons why I've always felt unhappy about the criticism, because they mainly talked about people of... 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, some of them even got up to 50,000. The figure was 2,500 in 10 years. So when you, when you felt that there was this sort of publicity, you know, you worried about the whole thing. Whether, and I, as I say, I did my best on a few occasions to actually be able to be heard by the, uh, the people that were making inquiries and I could not get them to agree to me. I had some here in this house, uh, but uh, I couldn't get any of the, uh, the, the, the inquirers, the, the politicians who were making the inquiries or others to come. And uh, I had dealings with the High Commissioner, the British High Commissioner, um, with them, and eventually they, they sent a note back to me, with the, which is in the House of Lords in the library, about my views. But, Never have I spoken to any of all these critics, and yet I was the only migration officer child in existence <laughs> at the time. They were people who, in my opinion, in the main, had been deprived of a normal home life, and this was something better. The man who came out from London who I saw, John Moss, who came to this house and I travelled with her for a short time, he was the one who sent a report back saying to the British authorities, if I were you, I'd send more. The question of housing was always a problem as to whether it was going to be in, you're going to have them in a large number, or whether you're going to have them in small numbers, or whether, you, uh, which was the best method of doing it. They were, they were trying all sorts of systems, uh, whether they should have uh, uh, housing, as whether they should have just looked after by two or three people in various areas in the world. They, it wasn't as if there was, you know, it was ignored. My opinion was uh, that the, uh, I felt that some orders, some orders of the Catholic Church were tougher than others. But I think from my own experiences, they were tough with them in their own homes too. You know, they were not, uh, that, that they believed in that sort of behaviour. That, that was the way they felt people should be looked after. And there were, some orders would, uh, we refused some orders. Look, I never, knew, I never, I didn't know of one of the children who ever complained about the fact that they never got to school. I never heard of any children that had, that had been badly, uh, badly treated. Well, you can understand perhaps that's why they didn't do that because they wouldn't be game to perhaps. But nevertheless, 
they went. Some of them went to public schools in their own in the, in the town. They weren't in their own little school in their own little room. They were went to normal public schools. If anything was adverse was happening, it surely would have been uh, in that known to some of the other people that were in those schools as well. This is not to say that they that you know that I'm sure, as we can even see today, the handling of children is not an easy matter, and particularly when. Some of the mothers just left them. Some of the fathers more frequently left them. And uh, it, it, it was a genuine attempt to help these young people to live a new life. Mind you, they had it all in mind then. We were, we were wool and sheep and they thought about farming as being the way, the best way to do it. So a lot of them were in farming property areas. Uh, but as I said earlier, when you consider in the first 10 years, and Arthur Corwell, was a, he, he was very interested in child migration. He wanted to, to succeed. The, the money that was granted, it was, there was more money available than there are for, 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 for people today in, the, in, in, in building homes, uh, providing ablutions, providing everything that was clothing, equipment, uh, I had to make a submission, as you'll know, uh, to the to the to the government about equipment allowance to get to get more paperwork available, knives and uh, get to pencils and pens and everything, all that sort of thing. But this new, but each state government gave money, the Commonwealth gave money, the federal we had Commonwealth the Commonwealth endowment was paid. No, no, I uh, I, I I think that uh, there are certainly you you would, you would always find ways to improve child migration. Always, but I don't think that the uh, the way that was that has been put that they were they, they were that, that, that all everyone all the people looking after them were devils and so on uh, just add up doesn't add up. Huh.